Hello, this is John JD, PhD, Finance Concentration. In this video, I'll be discussing the debt to equity ratio. Here's a debt to equity ratio example. This is a hypothetical question. Let me read off the question. A company has total assets of $5 million and a debt ratio of 40%. What's the company's debt to equity ratio? Now before I go over the solutions to this, I uh, will provide some general information. The debt ratio is different from the debt to equity ratio. The debt ratio is calculated as total debt divided by total assets. The debt to equity ratio is calculated as total debt divided by stockholders equity. Total debt includes all the current liabilities and long-term debt. A corporation's cost of debt is typically lower than the cost of equity. For a U.S. corporation, the interest on debt is tax deductible. Bondholders usually want a low debt ratio, whereas stockholder, stockholders may prefer a higher debt ratio to magnify earnings. With a company with debt in its capital structure, the debt to equity ratio will be higher than the company's debt ratio. I'm going to define D as total debt, A as total assets, and E as stockholders equity. Therefore the debt ratio equals D divided by A the debt to equity ratio equals D divided by E. Let's now look at these solutions. In solution one, I don't even need to use the total assets of $5 million to solve this. All I need is the debt ratio of 40%. So let's start off with step one. This is the basic accounting identity. A balance sheet must balance. Assets equals debt plus equity. A equals D plus E. Step two, just move that around. You get D plus E equals A. Divide through each term by E because I want to eventually solve for D over E. So D divided by E plus E divided by E equals A divided by E. Step 4, just solve now for D divided by E. So D divided by E equals A divided by E minus E divided by E. E divided by E equals 1. So in step 5, make uh, E divided by E 1. So step 5, you just have D divided by E equals A divided by E minus 1. Now, eventually I want to get down to a, a, a D over A portion on the right-hand side because I'm given the debt ratio. So I'm going to have to make some uh, maneuvers here to try to get to that. So first off here, I'll be doing an internal reciprocal. A divided by E is the same as 1 divided by E divided by A. So substitute in 1 divided by E divided by A and for A divided by E. So in step 6, we have D over E equals 1 divided by E divided by A minus 1. E, go back to uh, step 1. And solve that step one, E equals uh, A minus D. So substitute A minus D in for E on the right hand side. So in step seven, D divided by E equals one divided by A minus D divided by A minus one. I'm doing this to try to get to a D over A portion on the right side so I can plug that 40% in which would be 0 0.40 in decimal notation. So now in step 7 
you see uh, on the right side there 1 divided by a minus d divided by a that portion you can uh, distribute that a so it's going to be a divided by a minus d divided by a so a divided by a equals 1 all right so going down to 8 d divided by e equals 1 divided by 1 minus d divided by a minus 1 so I have the debt ratio now on the right side plug in the 0 0.40 for the debt ratio that's decimal notation so d divided by e equals 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.40 minus 1 equals 1 divided by 0 0.6 minus 1 equals 0 0.6667 times 100 equals 66.67 percent so the company's debt to equity ratio equals 66.67 percent now let's get to solution number two solution number two utilizes the total assets of five million dollars and the debt ratio of 40 percent recall in solution number one uh, only took into account the debt ratio didn't need to use the total assets of five million dollars in that solution so solution number two d divided by e equals the debt ratio times the assets divided by the assets minus the debt ratio times the assets so you're going to have the debt ratio times the assets in the numerator of 0.4 times five million equals two million dollars a balance sheet must balance assets of five million dollars minus total debt of two million dollars equals three million dollars for the stockholders equity so two million dollars divided by three million dollars in percentage notation equals sixty six point six seven percent the same answer as shown in solution number one for the debt to equity ratio for this company Thank you. Bye.